Technology keeps on getting smarter and in many ways it positively impacts our community. Yeah, sometimes tech and social media can be a little bit overwhelming, mm -hmm. constant scrolling notifications and sometimes people just feel bombarded. Right now Blanca Cobb who has a master's degree in psychology joins us live to help work through some of those emotions. So Blanca, why is it important to take a break from social media? There's too many comparisons on social media. You can have all kinds of feelings from feeling a little depressed, lonely to anger. And let me tell you why. Because when you're scrolling through social media, you're seeing who's doing what, who has what. You're seeing pictures of people who are fit, people who are vacationing, people who are loving their job, having fun with their family, and the list goes on. And then you might be wondering, well, that's not happening in my life, so what am I doing wrong? It's not a very good feeling. Yeah, I like the saying that, you know, Instagram is just a highlight yep. reel of people's it lives. Mm -hmm. It doesn't show the real things. But Blanca, what is the benefit of taking a break from social media? When you take a break from social media, then the people who you are around, you're actually going to be in the moment. You're going to be able to enjoy their company and what you're doing because your mind isn't on, oh, I want to post or I want to take this selfie or let's pose for this picture because I want to post it on social media. That takes time away from the discussion and the conversation and the camaraderie that you're feeling with the people you're around. So is it possible that if you take a break from social media, how does that help or hurt your relationships with people? It can totally help your relationship with people if you take a break from social media. And let me tell you how. Because when you're giving somebody your undivided attention, what are you telling them? You're important. I'm enjoying your company. I'm enjoying the conversation. I'm having fun with you. Every time you look at your phone or you're posting or you're scrolling, what are you saying? It's like, oh, I'm going to interrupt what's going on right now because I'm going to see what else is happening. What am I missing on this phone? And that's not a good feeling. So what happens is people will feel co closer to you when you give them your undivided attention, which means you can build stronger emotional connections. You know, and what I miss, Blanca, is the you, catching up with someone. There's no reason to call anybody as much anymore because you've seen it all, yeah, right? right? So I know what your kids are doing. I know where what trip you went on recently. You know what they ate for lunch yes. today. Yes, and I mm -hmm. hate the fact that, because I like to call and talk on the phone, like mm -hmm. that's to catch up with somebody. Mm -hmm. That's a good point that you're bringing up, Eric. It is much better. You can hear somebody's voice. You can hear the yeah. happiness. You can hear the excitement and you can share in that. That's something that is missed when all you're doing is posting on social media and scrolling on social media. Yeah, I have to remind myself, okay, the person I'm with right now is much more important than all the things happening. The little on my sound phone. effects, bling, yeah. bling. And right. sometimes it's just better to save things for yourself. I feel like the world doesn't always have to know everything that you're doing. It's and sometimes good to keep some things private and personal. And I'm tired of hearing every oh, yeah. <laughs> three seconds. Yeah. Well, Blanca, thank you so much. A lot of great advice there. And you want, if you want to continue the conversation with her, you can go to her Facebook page. That's Blanca Cobb, body language expert. We'll be right back.